a semiconductor. Today we will discuss the electrolysis process. In electrolysis process, we take the salt, salt that is NaCl sodium chloride. We provide this solid state of the salt to provide it some temperature. We give it temperature 810 degree centigrade to convert this salt into molten state. This convert into liquid and ALC and ACL sodium chloride. This molten state of sodium chloride create ions that are positive. In solid state of sodium chloride, no free electrons are available to conduct electricity. Molten state of sodium chloride millions of electrons are available to conduct electric city now we consider an electro light cell in electrolyte cell we take the molten sodium chloride in electrolyte cell in electrolyte cell we connect the two we take the two electrode one electrode is called anode and the second electrode is called cathode anode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and cathode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal of the battery now in the sodium chloride solution the chlorine ion will be attracted toward the anode and sodium ion will be attracted toward the cathode this cathode have negative charge and this cathode have positive charge so chlorine ion attracted to this cathode and this anode and the sodium ion is attracted to this cathode now the battery pull the electron from the chlorine ion then the battery move this push this electron to the sodium ion pull electron from the chlorine ion then battery push this electron to the sodium ion here the chlorine lose two electron and this lost electron is gained by the sodium ion now these two electron are get by sodium ions therefore we can say that two electron lost by chlorine ion is equal to two electron gain by sodium ion so we can say that so the so the formation so the formation and movement of ions within the electrolyte cell constitute constitute an electric current within the internal circuit.